Welcome back. Crafts are a great way to stay busy and stay warm during the winter months. Jennifer Ackerman Haywood is the Grand Rapids press expert and she also shares her knowledge on her website Craft Sanity. She's here to show us a couple of projects starting with how to make doll clothes. Welcome back to Take 5. Thanks yeah, for being happy here. Happy New Year. Now making doll clothes was kind of big when I was even younger and it's still big now. Of course I was never very good at it and I'm sure you're amazing at it. So why well, don't you show me what you can do? <laughs> the cool thing about this is there's an entry point for everybody. Okay. So what we're going to start with is I want to tell you guys about a woman named Morgan Doan who okay. I'm going to be featuring in Sunday's Art and Craft column okay. in the home section of the press and she actually these are her dolls these are her Blythe dolls and these are um, amazingly women are clamoring for these craft bloggers these are very dolls. very okay. popular and what happened is um, these were released in 1972 um, in the United States and they bombed miserably okay. and nobody wanted one um, <laughs> and um, now what happened is in um, about 30 years later, a photographer in New York, a producer, well, she's actually a producer, TV producer, um, she, her name Gina um, Garand, she was given one as a friend, from a friend, a, okay. a, a vintage doll, and started taking pictures of it all over the place. And what happened is her photos were in an exhibition, and they were seen by um, a person with a connection to a Japanese uh, a department store. And they used it, the Blake dolls in an advertisement, and what happened is it became a sensation in Japan, and now they're produced. Hasbro licensed um, a Japanese uh, company named Takara to start producing these. Okay. So craft bloggers are making them, are, are buying them and then making dresses to go okay. on them and clothes. And that's what Morgan does. And she bought her first doll um, in the spring, a month later started making dresses. So she, all these dresses that they're wearing, she's made. Okay. And um, the cool thing about these dolls is you pull a string and the eyes change color. Oh, wow. Yeah. So are they getting big here then? In the um, yeah. In fact, I just ordered a couple myself, but I had to order them from Hong Kong. Okay. And then you kind of have to cross your fingers and hope they get here. Okay. okay. <laughs> but luckily, we so, can make clothes for them. Yeah, you can make clothes for them, and um, we're going to have this little outfit. It's going to be a free download um, pattern, a crocheted top, and a little skirt um, that um, is Morgan's pattern. That'll be available on Sunday with the press. Okay. Um, article that comes out. Um, and for those who don't have Blythe dolls, we don't want you to feel left out. <laughs> um, my daughters, um, I got them some uh, groovy girl dolls. Okay. I don't know, I always, um, I don't know how other parents feel, but I don't like having um, curvy, unattainable body image dolls for my daughters who okay. are three and four. So I like these because they look like little girls. And um, what I did is I just crocheted a top and just started with, you know, just did a rectangle. It's a rectangle shape and um, just, you know, did this very simply. And this, everybody can do this. You don't need to so know how to crochet. Velcro. Yes. Piece of fabric you just and start with You start with just a simple tr a rectangle of fabric. Okay. And depending on what kind of doll, if you're going to make an outfit for a Barbie doll, um, you're basically, you just wrap it around and kind of get a feel for what, how, much, how much fabric mm -hmm. you're going to need. Um, and then you can, these trims are like 33 cents a yard um, at the a craft store, um, just fabric scraps. You can, so you can make them a little bit longer. And I left, the stitching is white here. I would go with red if it wasn't okay. for TV purposes. But so you can just see, you stitch along the top and the bottom. You can do this by hand or by machine. So whatever you have. Um, and then embellishments on here, I did a little um, flower. So you can kind of use, um, you can you use. Kind of use, make it however yeah, you want to look. Yeah, you can use. Uh, you know, sequins, uh, sequins things, ribbon, ribbon um, yeah, tons of stuff. You anything can do embroidery, you can think of, really. buttons, anything you can think of. And, um, you know, and it's amazing how using the same technique you can get different looking um, outfits. Is there uh, an elastic or rubber this band? This one has this an one? elastic okay. waist. Um, this is just a wrap around. So if you don't want to mess with elastic, you can just do Velcro. And then um, this one's a little bit more involved. Uh, there's several patterns available at the store. Um, this is just a simplicity pattern, okay. um, and you can make a dress. I'd never made a dress like this before, um, and I was able to do it without too much trouble. And of course, aprons, since I love it. Aprons, and for that, I just used some trim from the store. Again, it's a couple dollars a yard. You only need a tiny, you know, a few inches. Um, and then, of course, every doll needs underpants, right? Yeah. So uh, it almost <laughs> looks like an old-fashioned bathing suit exactly, bottom. Exactly, exactly. Very nice. That, red polka dots would be just fantastic for that. Very but, cool stuff. Yeah, so, and um, if you want to make a little shawl for a doll, just take a doily and um, a piece of ribbon and just kind of wrap tie it around, around. Tie, it, tie it around and you're all wrap set. Wrap on their shoulders. Yeah. Very so. cute, very cute. Well, we have more stuff coming up next for yes, you, right? Yes, we do. <laughs> yeah, when we come back, Jennifer shows us a craft project perfect for anyone who uses a cell phone or an iPad out in the cold. Stay with us, please.